Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello everyone, can you hear me? Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, how are you? Uh, mm, nothing. Nothing good, nada bien. Why? What are, are you sick? I have, I, I have my sick daughter, oh. baby, baby, daughter. So da sorry. Daughter, uh, my wife, and I can recover. So your um, wife and your I daughter am, are sick. Yes. I am not at at her her way. Yeah, I imagine. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. I hope your family and you get better soon. But are yes. you taking are you taking medicine? Yes, yeah. The treatment. Hoy, hoy estoy con, pero me siento, me siento más, más, más mal. Oh Hasta my. Me siento más mal todavía y... So the the medicine is not working basically. Ah, mañana pienso volver a pasar a ver qué me dice. Yeah, please do uh, it. Today I am. I go to to. Doing class, I am going to have the camera, camera, um, on but I don't, I feel, I, I feel, I feel well. well. Okay, yeah, oh, I. Sorry. I okay, I totally understand, and I hope you get better soon. <laughs> Yeah, go to the doctor, please. Maybe he can give you another medicine so that can work. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, is anybody else sick today? My gosh, no? All right. Yeah, that's difficult. I know. Well, I hope you get better soon. Now, let's see who else is here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. I can see Fatima. Hello, Fatima. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. I can see Pamela. Hello, Pamela. How are you? Hi, teacher. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm feeling great. That's good. That's good. And the rest, everybody. I cannot see your cameras on. I missed you during the last week. I want to see you. Come on, keep the camera on. Welcome to the class, everybody. Did you rest during the holidays? Yes or no? Did you relax a little bit? Did you sleep? During the last week? Yes, teacher. Recharging yeah. battery. <laughs> That's the attitude. Very good. Because this week, we have a lot of things to do. Okay, we are going to finish the week, uh, the unit number two. For the ones who hasn't taken the exam, you have to do it this week. And to do, uh, this week, we are going to start the unit number three. So we have a lot of things to do. Um, let's see, I can see only four people with the camera on everybody. Come on, turn it on. I want to see you. Welcome to the class. Sorry, I miss, sorry. Ah, hello, Mirna. Hello. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I went to EPA. I don't remember when. I think that it was last Sunday. And 
believe me that I saw a woman that I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Yeah. In which place? Epa? Yeah. Oh, no. And I thought, is she or You're not? not. <laughs> and I was, I was about to say hello, Mirna, but I, I stopped because I wasn't pretty sure. But she okay. was just like you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, but so everybody, that's why I want to see you with the camera on. Imagine if I see you somewhere, I will be able to recognize you. So welcome to the class. Today is Monday. We are starting a week. I hope you enjoyed the last week. I hope you relax. I hope you could rest a little bit at least. And I want to everybody be ready to participate today in the class. Okay, we are going to see different practice. We are going to try to review some of the topics that we already studied. And of course, we are going to see the topic for today. So let's start. Just a reminder, platform. Look, um, I know that with the platform, we had some issues. Some of you were uh, texting me during vacation, asking me for help. Be honest, I think that there is an exercise on the platform that I think that the, uh, the platform has a mistake because the answer is like a little bit misunderstood, right? I think that there have some issues with the answer. Um, so that's why to some of you, I was trying to help you and send you like the correct answer. Let me share with you the exercise. Okay, look, I think that it was the exercise, this one. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes. yes. So in this part, you had to write. Um, it was exactly in the number two that it was a mistake because what happens here is most of you wrote our product and then offer great features and benefit. That's the correct answer. But the platform didn't take that as correct answer. In the platform, they only add like offer great features and benefits. So you don't have to write our product. So that's why most of you got some issues with that. I tried to answer to all of you when the ones who texted me. So if you still have issues with this answer, uh, this is the correct one. Okay. It's not necessary to write our product. Again, you just have to write offer great features and benefits. And don't forget that in this type of exercise, when you have to uh, right. Don't forget the uh, punctuation marks. You need the last point. If you need a comma, you have to write a comma. Let's start with a capital letter. So those things can affect. Okay. Now, talking about the platform, some of you uh, haven't finished. Okay. I'm going to share with you how the platform is going. Remember everyone that the platform is not optional. It's an obligation. You had vacation, okay? And some of you haven't even finished the week um, number one, the homework number one. So that's pretty sad. I told you that the exam, you can wait, right? Because there are some topics that we haven't even started in the unit number two. So I told you that the exam can wait. However, some of you already did the exam. So that's great. No problem. But look, um, here are your grades. As I said, some of you haven't finished, not even the week number one. And I have Carlos. You haven't finished the week number one. I have Erica. You haven't finished the unit. So be careful, everyone. Um, so, so far, so good. Most of you already finished week number one and not about to finish week number two. Some of you already did the exam, so that's excellent, okay? 
for the ones who hasn't finished the week number one, do it, okay? You have to do it because it's an obligation. If you haven't finished the week number two, I mean, it's all right because we haven't finished the topics. So we are going to finish the topics of the week uh, number two. I don't know if Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? So for Wednesday, week number two has to be done, okay? And in the middle of the week, you have to finish the exam, but do it, please, okay? Any questions about the platforms, everyone? Questions, questions, no? Okay. No question. Very good. Remember, if you have some issues with the exercises, always tell me. I try to answer as soon as possible and I can help you with the answers, okay? But do it. Now, let's start. I'm going to share the presentations for today's class. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is April 10th. We are starting the month and basically we are just starting the week number three, okay? And if you remember last week before going on vacation, um, we saw this topic, how to use enough to modify adjective. Do you remember this topic? Yes, no, a little bit. No teacher. You don't remember the topic? I was and... sick. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I remember that before vacation, most of you were sick. So let's have a little practice before starting. Remember that the rule when we are using enough if you have an adjective, the adjective goes first, okay? And then the word enough. And here we got an example. He is tall enough to reach the top shelf. So remember, adjective and then the word enough. If you say, for example, he is enough tall, mm -mm, that's not correct. First is the adjective and then the word enough. If the sentence is in negative, it's exactly the same. The only thing is that you need to add the word in negative. So for example, he is not tall enough. So this is the rule that you have to remember. First is the adjective and then is the word enough. As simple as that. Let's do a practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences and I want you to choose the correct answer. For example, look at the first one. I didn't run. Hmm, what do you think? What is the correct answer? I didn't run enough fast or I didn't run fast enough. What do you think? Fast enough. Fast enough. So fast enough, letter B, are you sure? Yes. And only one says yes, in the rest of you, are you sure? Yes. Yes, this one is the correct answer. Remember, first is the adjective and then the word enough, okay? Let's see the next sentence, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes, please. She is old enough to know better. All right. Do you agree, everybody? She is old enough? Yes, I agree. Yes. That's the correct one. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next one, please. Volunteer for reading. Uh -huh. Me, teacher. Yes, please. She was prudent enough to look to to look the car. To lock the car. To lock the car. Sorry. Very good. Exactly. That is the correct answer. 
So if you see, it's very simple, everyone. So when you have an adjective and the word enough, that's the rule. First the adjective and then the word enough. Volunteer for reading the next one, please. Me teacher. Yes, please. Is it warm enough for you? All right, look. Pay attention to this sentence, everyone, because it's a question. But even though if it is a question or if the sentence is in negative, the structure is the same. First is the adjective and then is the word enough. Simple as that. Okay. The last one, volunteer for reading, please. Uh-huh. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Well, many tablet computers are small enough to put in your pocket. All right, look. Small enough, simple as that. So, adjective. And then the word enough, simple. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, it's clear because you can use uh, all the time in, in negative and affirmative or in question, the same structure, adjective plus enough. Correct, exactly. It doesn't matter if it is in simple present, or in simple past or future. It doesn't matter if it is affirmative, negative or question, the structure is the same. If you had an adjective, so adjective and then the word enough, simple. Is it clear? Any questions so far? Questions, questions? No? Okay, if you don't have a question, please complete the exercises on the platform. Okay, there are some exercises about that. Now, Holy Week, let's talk about the Holy Week. How was your Holy Week, everyone? Did you enjoy it? Yes, no, a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We need more holy, more more holiday days for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Never is enough, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. we are going to discuss about it. We are going to have a little speaking practice, but first, I'm going to check attendance. If you listen to your names, say present, please. Carlos Abrego. Present. Very good. Christian Alexander. Present again. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. <coughs> Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Very good. Hector Francisco. Hector Francisco. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue. Now, during the Holy Week, we can see some vocabulary, okay? And that is what I want you to keep in mind. For example, look at these pictures. Look at the number one. So how can I say this picture? What does it mean? It's a cross. 
Exactly. So what is the tradition here in our country? What is that cross? What is the name of the day? Uh -huh. It's it is when they start Quaresma in Spanish. Ah, very good. So imagine in Spanish we say Miércoles de Ceniza, right? How can we say that in English? Any idea? No. <laughs> okay. Ash Wednesday. Ash. So keep in mind the vocabulary in case that you use it during the practice. Ash Wednesday. Okay. So next picture. What is that? Dry fish. <laughs> ah, actually, yes, you can say dried fish, literal, right? Or you can say salt fish, like salt. Okay. Now, the next one is a dessert. What is this? Torreja, torreja. <laughs> ah, do you like torrejas, everyone? Yes. Yes. Me do. Yes, I do. Did you did you eat torrejas during the Holy Week? A lot. Yes. <laughs> so this is a typical name. It's very colloquial. So normally it doesn't have a translation. However, some people they don't say like torrejas. Some of them it says torrijas. So basically, like the pronunciation changes a little bit, but it's a colloquial word. It's not necessary to translate it. Then look at the next picture. What is this? Oh, in English, I don't know. Alfombra and mat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe carpet. Yeah. Carpets, maybe. We say carpets. Carpet. Exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Um. What else? What else? But is 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 with the hand. Say carpet, the same like uh, carpet, carpet. Just carpets, like okay. like carpets, okay. like this. Carpets. Mm -hmm. If you want to like be a specific, right? You can say something like salt carpet or the carpet made with salt or the streets carpet. Okay. Now remember. No meat. <laughs> Did you eat meat during the holiday, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, no, I do. Fish. <laughs> ooh, ooh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you go to the beach? Yes. No, teacher. Ah, no. some of you say yes. All right. Did you drink? <laughs> Water in soda. Uh, soda. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. No, beers. <laughs> no, I know you are very responsible, right? Okay. So it's time. I want to start this class with speaking. I want to be sure that you didn't forget to speak in English. Okay. So let's practice these simple questions. Okay. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group and I want to everybody try to participate. Remember that the objective for this is to talk. Okay. Let's practice speaking. I know that maybe during the last week we didn't have the opportunity to practice. So let's take advantage in this moment. Okay, I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. Go and check the questions. And we are going to practice. Remember in this moment, zero Spanish, try to speak full English. I know that there are some specific or colloquial words or proper names that we cannot translate, but most of the time, just full English. Let's go and practice. Hello, Christian. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Nice. Hello, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. 
Hello, Fatima. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, the first question is, what Salvadorian <clears throat> people usually do during the Holy Week? Teacher, I have I have a question. Yes, go ahead. To answer this question, we have to use past or present. It depends. If the question is in present, you can answer in present. Okay, for example, in the first, I can say uh, most of Salvadorian people go to the beach. Yes, because if you see the first question is in simple present. So you mm -hmm. can answer in simple present, no problem. Okay, thanks, mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Uh, also go to the church. You see? The Salvadorian people usually eat torrijas. <laughs> <laughs> Equally. <laughs> <laughs> and drinks a lot. Well, I love it. Torrijas. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. I think that alcohol, you like alcohol, alcohol. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the second one is... Hello. Oh. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I'm here, I'm hearing you, but I don't, I don't turn on the camera because I'm training, so. <laughs> I'm my day and maybe other days <clears throat> and I have my own business oh nice <laughs> yes it's better <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you what about and you me, and me just working in IT IT company <laughs> I mm -hmm. work yes I work in an IT company and a busy mom too <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, but it is just for computer, my, my work. You work at home? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Not not all day, but some days I work at home. I am um, I, I I I I do home office some days during the week. Mm -hmm. yes, and uh, in vacation it's... you work at home. No, 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 on vacation no, just Tuesday to Sunday. It was you are normal people. You have a kitchen. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you you are a norm. Uh, uh, you are a normal no? <laughs> people too. I am a crazy man. You are normal. <laughs> you are busy, busy, busy. <laughs> and Isabel is there, no? Isabel, Selvin, and Oscar join now. Yes, Isabel. Hello. Hello. What happened, Isabel? Hello. <laughs> Selvin is list is a is a listen uh Selvin is, is a listener. Is a, hello Rosalina, how are you? Maybe it's not here, Rosalina. Yeah. And Oscar? He's on vacation. <laughs> Actually, it's on vacation already. Oscar? No. Okay, Isabel. <laughs> just, just uh, Isabel, Magdalena, and me. Okay. <clears throat> the the question say the number one. What Salvadorian people usually do during the Holy Week? Give me a second. I will try to share. Hello? I think okay. that Catholic Catholic people during the the the, the Holy Week is that the the people that usually do the or live the the Hollywood. Uh-huh. 
my opinion, I think, oh, I, Rosalina, hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, I read the, the answer, excuse me, the, the, the question. Is, what's yes. about it? people usually do it? Ah. Yes, for do me, they do it, yeah. For me, uh, go to the church, and yes. the other and the other is uh, go to the beach, I think. Que más hacen, pero tú, perdón. Somebody drinks beers. Ah, yeah, somebody drinks beers. Another yeah, but, but the, the mean or the the the, ah. the principal, I think that is the shore um yeah. do the the carpets and uh -huh. uh, is and it Catholic it, people, yeah. Yes, Catholic For people. For me, yes. I'm, I'm Catholic, but if I is a evangelist yeah. also is uh, go to the church. Yes, but Magdalena is a is Pastor, yes, Magdalena. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. What do you what what uh, yes, you are. what do you do during the Holy Week, for example? Okay, uh, uh, Saturday we have a, a night service for uh, for at night night night, maybe. So, yes, a night service. I don't oh, really? know what is the what is the meaning for that in English. Por, un, por una vigilia, I don't know. Yeah. Ay. Vigil? Like I, I, I think that this vigil. Are, vigil, 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 vigil. 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 Google, trans, Google <laughs> Translate this is a vigil. Vigil. Yeah. Vigil. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, vigil. Okay, vigil, we, yes, we have vigil. a vigil. Oh, yes, yeah. and Sunday? But, but this is the same. Morning, is, is vigil the same. the same that the Catholic, the Catholic sure, yeah? Mm hmm I believe am in in resurrection to, to them. Oh, but you believe in the same, the same that that God died and then the resurrection and then on Sunday. Yes, yes I believe in that. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Cristo is is uh, oh, is like I don't know. Is the, the same? same. <laughs> yes. Same. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> you understand me what you are talking yes, about. Yes, yes, okay. yes, I know, of course. <laughs> and you, Isabel? Isabel. Isabel, um, are you there? I think um, the other teacher. people. Hello, teacher. Hey, welcome. Okay, Isabel, go ahead. I think and the other people. Uh, Visit her family too, and the uh, holiday week. Very good, very good. Who else is here in the group? Who else is going to participate? Oscar, you there? Selvin, <laughs> stay as a listener. Okay, Selvin is a listener, but Oscar is here. Uh -huh, Oscar, so what do you think? Question number one. Yeah, teacher, usually the people uh, doing the carpet or, or, or promise the person. Um, is put the is beach second uh, second uh, I don't know this say um, papote in miel different food uh, um, um, doing the people and uh, and um, the Holy Week like a typical food basically yeah typical food yeah all right yeah, sounds good. Uh, but it is uh, people Catholic. Yeah. Okay. But people uh, evangelic now no not doing nothing. Okay. So I like the word jocotes and miel. So remember that this is jocote doesn't have a translation, but en miel sí. So you can say like jocotes in Honey. honey, exactly, or mango honey, honey. in honey, right? So you can oh. use 
in honey to say that okay okay very good i love to everybody participate that's what i need so don't be shy everyone okay participate. a little shy me <laughs> <laughs> take this moment as a gossip time okay so <laughs> let's yeah why not continue please okay okay Okay, number gossip, two. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two, what are some religious traditions during the Holy Week? Oh, cool. I know that that beach is very beautiful. Yes, it's, it's very um, calm. It's very, it's or very there, it's, or it's okay. there is a lot of waves. I went, I went before the Holy Week because in the Holy Week, I don't like no. too much people. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of it's a stressful, a uh, lot of people in the. Yes. Uh, and and what I else went, do we do? I went to Apulo. Oh. Yes, I went to, I went to watch a movie. Um, what movie? Young Week, Young Week Four. <laughs> <laughs> it is good or not? It's okay, but it's very, uh, it's very uh, fail. Violent. <laughs> very fail. Oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of fix, a lot of, a lot of fix. The, okay. the young week uh, is like a, ro a robot. The, the I, people, I, the I, people I... beat and beat and beat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You recommend it or no? Yes, it's it's okay. It's a good option. Okay. It's okay. okay. Well, the I I on um, on Hollywood, I went to the beach too. I went to to go the, to the beach, but I don't go. I don't. I don't went to the beach. And also, I I didn't go to the beach. I prefer to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just and, sleep and eat. And eat a lot. Uh -huh. But not a little bit. Eat a lot. And you, Ivan, what did you do? Uh, in my case, uh, rest and sleep. <laughs> 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 Those verbs, what is the past form of sleep? Sleep. Ah, that's the one. What is the past form of rest? Rest. Rest. Regular. Rest. Rest. Rested. Rested. That's the one. Rested. That's the one. Remember that the last question is in simple past. What do you do? So we need to answer with the verbs in past. Okay. Yes. Very good. Did you answer okay. all of the questions, everyone? Yes. Did everybody answer the questions? Uh, yes, I think Erica is not with us. And Carlos Elivaldo also. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Yes, Erica is busy, I think. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. A little, well, a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to check just one more team and then we're going to go back to the main room. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. You can continue okay. talking, but in English, please try to give more details. Okay. Work. You need you take time for thinking in God, no? A specific yes. time for yes. this. You need to, to think in God every day, but in this time, maybe 
you have more time for that. Yeah, for because you have maybe. a holiday. I yes. talked to Magdaleno days ago about this. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm sorry, no, no. <laughs> you have a no, trouble, mate. No, you have a big trouble. You disagree. <laughs> no problem. You are disagree for Holy Week. <laughs> yeah. But you remember, freedom people, no problem. Yes. Yes. We are, are open-minded, open Oscar. Okay. Yes, we agree. are. <laughs> yeah, that? we are open-minded. No worries. We have a candidate, Magdalena, right now. <laughs> I, I, All right, everyone. I said the word gossip and immediately everybody talk, right? <laughs> My goodness. I like that. I like that. But unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we need to go Why? back to the main room. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back, let's go back. We are going to wait for everyone. There are some classmates that are still on the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. All right, all right, let's go back everyone. Time's up. Okay, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Uh-huh. With different opinions and yes. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, that's good. Interesting. Remember the idea for this question is not to make a debate, okay? No, this is just to talk, to share ideas, to practice speaking. So, did you answer all the questions, everyone? No. <laughs> the time yeah. wasn't enough. Yeah. We gossip a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk at you, right? Gossip a lot. <laughs> all right. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? Mm -hmm. All right. In our, in our group, not sure. Ah, that's the attitude. Very good. Look, very good job. I loved it because I listened to most of you talking. I love it. Remember, everyone, when we are in the breaking rooms, don't be shy. I know that in the class we have some people that they are a little bit more talkative. And there are some others that they don't talk a lot, but don't be shy, okay? If you are in a group and you see some of your classmates that they don't speak a lot, push them and tell, hey, I, I would like to know your opinion. So please talk, okay? We are a team and I want to everybody learn. Now, important details. Let's see some of the aspects that I want you to keep in mind. And these are some vocabulary that I want you to consider. For example, I listen to this word in Spanish. Cuaresma. How can I say cuaresma in English? Lent. Lent. That's the one. Okay. Pronunciation of this word? Lent. Christ. Pronunciation. Ah. Right. Actually, is. Christ. Okay, so you can say Christ or you can say Jesus Christ. Okay, but Chris, no, Christ. Christ. The next one, I listen to this uh, phrase too much people. Can I say too much people? Many people. Ah, many people. so instead of much, I have to say many because remember that people is countable. So you can say too many people. Or if you want to use new vocabulary, you can use the adjective crowded. Crowded is specifically when you want to say that there are a lot of people, there are too many people in a place. So for example, you can say, ah, the beach was very crowded. That means that there were too many people, okay? 
So be careful with the auxiliaries don't and didn't. If the question is in simple past, answer in simple past. But I was listening to some people say, no, I don't go to the beach. Hmm, so the question was in simple past. So the correct auxiliary is didn't. Can I say I didn't went? No, teacher. What is the correct one? I went. Went. Ah, but went. if I have the auxiliary didn't? Go, I didn't go. Exactly. So remember the rule. If I have the auxiliary, the verb is in the base form. Okay? Don't forget that. Um, I was listening some verbs in simple present when the question was in past. So just be careful, everyone. Simple past of sleep. Slept. Uh -huh. Slept. Very good. Simple past of rest. Rested. Rested. Okay. Rested. So in the last question that it was, what did you do? I listened to many people saying the verbs in simple present. Okay, so be careful, everyone. Now, can you tell me some negative aspects about the Holy Week? Uh -huh. Anyone? Negative aspects about the Holy Week? Yeah, teacher. Yes, Christian? I think that there in the holiday day are a lot of accidents. Very mm -hmm. good. That's a negative aspect. What else? Another aspect that comes to your mind? That every every place is are crowded. <laughs> Very good, definitely. No matter where you go, everywhere is very crowded. Crowded. Uh-huh. What else? Anything else? The Holy Week was too short. <laughs> <laughs> That's a negative aspect. Makes sense. Yes, why not? Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, in some countries, they don't say Holy Week. Remember that Holy Week is for most of the time Latin American countries, right? Or the countries with a, with a lot of Catholic people or religious people right? But in some other countries, they don't say Holy Week. They call it Esther Week, all right? So let me ask you, and I want to everybody try to participate answering the questions. Look at the number one. In Esther Week in our country, well, we already discussed this question. What do you do at the Eastern in your country? We already talked about it. Right. So number two, what do you eat at Esther? What do you think? Think Torrejas. about last week. Torrijas, yes. What else? I eat fish. Ah, very good. What else? Meat or not meat? No meat. No mm. meat. Just, you, right? just, just cocote and mango in honey. Uh -huh. mango, mango. mango, mango in mango. honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> All right. Volunteer for reading the question number three, please. Hi, me, teacher. Yes. Do you have the Esther Bunny in your country or do you have something else? Aha. What do you think, everyone? Do you have this? What do you think? Mm. It's a we very have... tradition. So basically, we don't do that in our country, right? We don't hide eggs. We don't have the typical bunny chocolates. So in our country, it's a little bit different. It's American tradition, but we adopt the, the tradition. For example, my 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 girls don't go to the nursery baker. 
and ah. he 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 participate in this activity that, uh, for example, uh, bunny or eggs. He did the the <laughs> this activity in in in, in his baker. For real, wow, yeah. that's interesting. That's interesting. So imagine, yeah, because we adopt the the other uh, culture. I think we Definitely. we adopt that. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. That's interesting. All right, volunteer for the number four. Read it, please. Hi, teacher. Yes, please. Do you like Esther? Why and why not? Uh, hi, everyone. Do you like it? Me? Yes, I like it. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Because I'm Catholic. Mm, very good. Yeah. Who else? Do you like it or not? But in this case, it's Hollywood, right? Yes. In what country? Mm -hmm. Remember, in this case, this one, Easter is more for another countries. But for the Latin countries, we normally say Holy Week. In another countries, they call it Easter Week. Okay? So, do you like it or not? Yes, I like it. Why? One was the the points are because it's vacation and it's an opportunity for go to the to the church. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Anyone else? For me, it's time to stay with my family, my children, and go to the church too. Ah, nice. Very good. Is anybody here who didn't or who don't like it? No? <laughs> I think we all of us enjoyed the holidays, right? I mean, even if you are not a religious person, do enjoy the day off. <laughs> okay, volunteer for reading the number five. Okay. How do you... Your parents and grandparents use the celebrate Easter. It's pronunciation Easter. Easter. Uh, thank you. Easter. How do your parents and grandparents is to celebrate Easter? Are your Easter tradition changing? Thank you. So everyone, what do you think? How do they? Uh, how did they celebrate it? Is that different or is just the same? What do you think? In my I'm opinion. Stay. Excuse me, Magdalena. <laughs> no, you first. You first, Rosalinda. Okay, thank you. Lady first. Rosalinda. Hello, Ivan Petrovich. In my case, in my case, I know it's correct, but, but I, I say uh, my mom is more traditional. Mm. It's Thursday and Friday, not eating meat. It, it stay in silence, thinking in God, talking about God, and uh, talking about die and live, no life. Okay, I, 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 live is the verb. Christo, so, Jesus the... Christ is. Oh, I don't know. The Jesus words. Christ is alive. Alive it's is a, the adjective. Uh -huh. It's alive. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, right. It's a reason for for um, for faith. I don't know. Say faith. 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 Yeah. Mm, okay. In the in the in the good life at the end. So I'm trying to explain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so basically your mother is more like devoted. Yeah, right? yes, yes, there is an the the the, the ex, ex, All right. there is a view the point the view point for her. Mm -hmm. Basically yeah. that yeah, interesting, very good. Thank how you. about how about you, Magdaleno? What do you think? I think that the, the celebration is changing. Why? Because I remember 
15 or 20 years ago. I, uh, it's a, no, I, um, I grow, grow this, correct. I grew Do up. You? I grew up. I grew up at the countryside. And then we, we attended, we attended a church where, where we celebrated, celebrated, when, mm -hmm. where we celebrated the whole Holy Week, the whole Easter, Easter is correct? Yes. The whole Easter with the service at the afternoon for, every, for the whole week and every day, uh -huh. every day in the week. And we have a vigil at uh, Saturday and we have a, a Sunday in the morning at 6 a.m. the service for the resurrection. I remember that. I, 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 I have been uh, evangelist, it's correct, my whole, my whole life. Mm -hmm. Because I remember the tradition 20 years ago and I, and I watch and I see Watch or see? I see the tradition today. Is watch or is see? See. I can see the tradition today. The legalism are, are destroying the, the celebration. It's mm. so sad. Definitely, right? I think that the new generations, they are not so devoted as the previous generations, right? Yes, that's right. Very, very good. Yes, Mm -hmm. Very sad. So we are going to practice listening, everybody, and we are going to identify how the Easter week is celebrated in another countries. Okay, so uh, be careful with the microphones, please. So we are going to listen, please pay a lot of attention. I have here five speakers and I want you to listen to them talking about their traditions in their countries. And I want you to match. I want you to match the speaker with the country and with the tradition. For example, in the number one, if you listen and you say, ah, the number one is talking about Germany. Okay, you have to match it. And what is the tradition? Ah, I think they say people have egg fly, fights. Okay, so I want it to match the speaker with the country and with the tradition. Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes, I clear. Excellent. Okay, pay attention. I'm going to play the audio. So everybody, microphones off. Microphones off to avoid interferences. Pay a lot of attention. If you cannot listen to the audio, just let me know. One. My mum is from Sweden and she told me that when she was a child, she and the other kids used to dress up as witches and go to people's houses to ask for sweets. So it's a bit like Halloween here. But the children also give Easter cards that they make themselves. So that's nice. Two. I have a friend who used to live in Corfu, Greece. And he told me of a very strange tradition they have there. People throw saucepans out of their windows. They believe it makes all the bad things go away. Three. I'm half British, half Bulgarian. And I used to love having egg fights at Easter in my childhood in Bulgaria. The whole family colour eggs. The first one had to be red, then hit them against each other. If your egg doesn't break, you are the winner. Four. My husband is German, so we always make an Ostereierbaum at Easter. It's a little tree with coloured eggs on it. When I was a child, we didn't used to celebrate Easter, so it's great to make the tree with our kids. Five. I was on vacation in Bermuda last Easter, and do you know what they do for Easter? They fly kites. They make the kites themselves, and it's really beautiful to watch.
Okay, everybody, do you have the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? Again, please. Please again. Sorry, please. <laughs> All right, no problem. I'm going to play the audio again. Everybody, microphones off, please. Pay attention. One, my mum is from Sweden and she told me that when she was a child, she and the other kids used to dress up as witches and go to people's houses to ask for sweets. So it's a bit like Halloween here, but the children also give Easter cards that they make themselves. So that's nice. Two, I have a friend who used to live in Corfu, Greece, and he told me of a very strange tradition they have there. People throw saucepans out of their windows. They believe it makes all the bad things go away. Three. I'm half British, half Bulgarian, and I used to love having egg fights at Easter in my childhood in Bulgaria. The whole family colour eggs. The first one had to be red, then hit them against each other. If your egg doesn't break, you are the winner. Four. My husband is German, so we always make an Osterreierbaum at Easter. It's a little tree with colored eggs on it. When I was a child, we didn't use to celebrate Easter, so it's great to make the tree with our kids. Five. I was on vacation in Bermuda last Easter, and do you know what they do for Easter? They fly kites. They make the kites themselves, and it's really beautiful to watch. Uh-huh. Ready? I'm ready, teacher. I, I ready. have just a question. Yes. For vocabulary, I don't know what is kite. Fly kite. Kite, for example, in our country, during October, when we feel the wind, we fly kite. So what is that? Anyone? Cometa, picuchas. Yes. Picucha. Kite. Exactly. That is the one. So let's see the answers, everyone. The speaker number one, what is the country that they are talking about? Sweden. 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 Yes. yes, Sweden. And what is the tradition? They dress us as witches. So basically, it's like a Halloween, right? That's the way they celebrate this, um, this holiday. It's a little bit weird. Speaker number two, where is the country? Greece. They are Greece. Greece, correct. Well, and and what is the tradition here? People throw, people throw things out. People throw things out of the window. And why? Why do you think they do that? It's uh -huh. weird. Yeah. <laughs> they say that, that is a way that leave the things behind so to forget the past but uh, imagine imagine you are passing by the, the street and oh. one shoes in your in your head <laughs> yeah <laughs> a little bit dangerous too okay speaker number three where is the country Bulgaria Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yes. Bulgaria. And, and where is the tradition? People have egg, egg, egg fight. fight. Egg fight. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you think about that tradition, everyone? Will you like it? <laughs> it's same to the yes, fight it's... with ball with with fireball. It's similar. It's same too. But I think that I mean, fireballs is more dangerous. <laughs> A little bit. Than egg flights, right? <laughs> okay. Speaker number four, where is the country? Germany. Ah, Germany. Nice job. <laughs> and what is the tradition here? People make a tree and put eggs on it. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yep, I agree. I yes. agree. So, I don't know you, but I was thinking Germany. I expected something a little bit more rude <laughs> from them. But <laughs> anyway, and the last one, speaker number five. Bermuda. Bermuda. And what is the tradition? 
group of the last one. Which of these traditions do you find more interesting or funnier? What do you think? Which one is your favorite, for example? Or which one would you like to practice? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe have an X bite. <laughs> X bite. Interesting. Okay. How about you, everyone? Maybe people, when people make a tree and put eggs on, on it. Mm, okay. In Germany. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Anyone else? The no? people fly kites. Ah, very good. That's really, that sounds good. Would you like to throw things out of the windows? No, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right, definitely. So you see everyone, different traditions. Just remember, Holy Week and Easter Week is basically the same. It's the only difference is basically the country, right? So vocabulary, don't forget it. So how many correct answers did you have? Um, All of them? All of them. Ah, ah, very good. And the rest of you, how many correct answers? I have only three. All right, okay. And the rest? I have all of them. Very good. So everybody remember, Me listening. Too. Is something that we can practice. Very good. I sent a, before going on vacation some links that you can use if you want to practice. So I hope you did, okay? And not only during vacation, I hope you try to practice during every single day. Now, we're going to move and this is the topic for, the, for today. We are going to recognize the components of place and promotion. If you remember when we were talking about marketing, we found four letter P's, okay? So we are going to focus on the P about place and promotion, okay? That is what we are going to be talking about today. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Could I try? Yes, please. And to identify the right place to start positioning a, pro a product or service. Very good. So I'm going to need some volunteers for reading. We are going to go to the manual in the page 22. So who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you. Me, 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 me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Rosalina, you will be Sophia. Ivan, you will be Arnold. Go ahead. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed, developed a few, but I am not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. Okay. I think the place is actually irre, irre, what the pronunciation? Irrelevant. irrelevant. Right? Mm -hmm. Irrelevant. Okay. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to, to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training course online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and they learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your products from social networking, size and credit enough interest things in the course so that people will buy them. Thank you, very good. So according to the reading, what is the product that they are trying to sell? A website. A website? Training course online. Courses online. Ah. Ah, they are trying to training. say training, training courses. Course. And what is the place? Do you think that they are selling these at the supermarket or at the mall? Where is the Online. place? Online. Online. Ah, very good. So basically the place is virtual. Yeah. 
do you think that is that uh, is that a good idea to sell the product or uh, the training courses online right now yes yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> definitely yes. right we are example <laughs> <laughs> we are exactly we, we are, are. <laughs> it's, it's trending it's trending actually very trending, good yes. <laughs> yeah so that is what we are going to talk right now and i have this question for you how important is to identify the right place to start positioning a product or a service? Is that important or not? What do you think? Yes, I want to sell a product. Mm -hmm. So why? Why is that important? The place is very important because you need to, to, know, to know is this place uh, come a lot of customer. customer look like for your product, no? Mm -hmm. So, ima think. yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine I want to sell ice cream. That's my product. I want to sell ice cream. Do you think is that a good idea if I go to sell ice cream, a, I don't know, at the top of a, a, a volcano? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, because... No. It's cold, <laughs> maybe. It's a bad idea. Imagine, can I, <laughs> can I sell ice cream, for example, eh, in El Pital? No. Okay. Not really. No. What, what could be a right place to sell ice cream? In El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> too, too hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, everywhere, right? Because almost the weather everywhere is, is hot. hot. The weather is hot. <laughs> but imagine a very specific place. What do you consider is a right place to start uh, selling this product? In San Miguel City. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So something that you have to keep in mind is remember that there are saturation. For example, if you think about the mall in Metro Centro, for example, do you think that is some competitors in Metro Centro? Yeah. 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 yeah so maybe it's not a good idea, right? So what else? What could be another place? At the beach? I think close to the college. Ah, very close good. The universities. Uh -huh. The parks. Ah, nice. So near to some schools, to the college, in the park, next to the beach. Imagine it's very hot. So nice. How about I want to sell shorties? <laughs> Can you tell Close. me a right place? Close Close near to the, to the office. <laughs> the office. Ah. Close the university because it's, it's cheaper. Very yeah, good. From next to universities, next to the or call centers, school. right? Yes. Mm, very good. How about imagine that I want to teach French, French classes. Where is the mm. right place? Online, maybe. Online. Online. Very good. Online. Anything else? Another idea? In yeah, no university too. Ah, very good. What if I have the diploma? I can do it at university, right? But I think that online is a very nice idea. So if you see, you are giving examples of the right place to start the positioning of a product. Okay, and that is basically what we need to discuss during this class. So I want to put a hotel. Remember that a hotel is more like a service. I want a hotel with a pool. So what would be the best place for a hotel? Close to the beach. <laughs> ah, very good. Next to the beach. Near to the airport or city. Ah, very good. So you see, you are thinking in the right place. That's the idea. Now, thinking about that and also thinking about product, there are some vocabulary that we need to share. 
So if you got your manual, this information is in the page 23. I want you to match these words with the correct meaning. Okay, I'm going to try to make it bigger. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, can you see it? Yes. So, advertising. What comes to your mind when you listen to the word advertising? Hmm, what is that? Try to match it. Read the definitions and match the words with the expressions. May I, um, teacher? Yes. I think uh, advertising <clears throat> is a form of marketing that employs an openly sponsoring message for product. Mm, okay. Everybody, do you agree or do you have another idea? I agree with, with her. Okay. So listen, I'm going to give you five minutes and I want you to complete the exercise and then we are going to check the answers, okay? Go ahead, match the words with the expressions. You have five minutes. If you have a question about one word or the vocabulary, just let me know. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully the definition. It's not necessary to translate. That's not the idea. Just try to understand what the meaning is. If you have a question, just let me know. Teacher, I have a question of vocabulary in the number three. Yes, go ahead. The, the last word, basis. 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 What so, means that? It's similar in the Spanish, como las bases o fundamentos. That's Base. the meaning for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. If you have questions, everyone, just let me know. <clears throat> okay, I finished, teacher. Excellent, very good. Let me know when you finish everyone. You still have time. I will give you two more minutes, no worries, you have time. Read carefully, please. Finish. Excellent, <laughs> very good. If you have a question, just let me know. I want to everybody try, please. I will be asking one by one.
<clears throat> Did you finish, everybody? Yes. Okay. So we are going to check what is the correct answer. So I need a volunteer for the number one. So advertising. What is that? Ooh, only one, please. Uh, for all the marketing that employees on openly sponsoring message the promote or sell a product. Very good. Thank you. So if you wrote the number one in that definition is correct. Oscar, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yeah, teacher. Magdalena, please. <laughs> All right. Magdalena, number two, personal sales. What is that? Okay, personal sales. Yes. Is the um, sales interaction between the firm's representative and, cons and consumers, consumer or consumers? Consumer. Consumer. And a consumer's on a one-to-one -one basis. All right, very good. If you wrote the number two in that definition, totally correct. Magdaleno, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay, my pleasure. Um, maybe Mirna. Thank you, Mirna. Number three, sales promotion. What is that? Number three, so promotion. Uh, for me, it's promotion designed to create a short-term incre increase in sales. All right. And that is the one. Very good job. Very good job. Please pick one of your classmates. Okay, let me see. Fatima. <laughs> Thank you. Fatima, what is the meaning of sponsor? Sponsor a person organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. All right, very good job. Pick one of your classmates, please. Oh, Erika. I'm sorry? Erika. Ah, okay. Erika, can you read the definition for public relations? I hope first, the key is building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Very good job. Excellent definitions, everyone. How many correct answers did you have? All of them. All of them, nice. And the rest of you, everyone? All of them? Yes, miss. All of them. Ah, very good. Now let's relate this vocabulary with one of national products. For example, do you know this brand? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Ah, what is the best? Yes, I know. What, what is the best place or the right place to sell this product? In the mall, maybe? The mall. Yeah, the malls, right? Definitely. So, what type of advertising do they have? Mm, social media. Social media, very good. What else? TV advertising. Ah, very good. On TV is very okay. common, right? To watch some of TV commercials about this brand. So do they offer personal sales? Personal sales. Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. necessary personal yes. sales for Definitely. the buying. For the sales products. Yes, very good. Do they have sales promotion? Yes, one and one and a half. I, I don't remember exactly, <laughs> but if you buy one, get uh, the another 
50% off. <laughs> ah, very good. Definitely. Do they have another sales promotion? What do you think? Or not? Yes, when they, uh, they have a unique size, or for example, two or one side that each choose, they, they, they sell promotions too, mm -hmm. I think. Very good. In yes, some... And, uh -huh. Sorry. Pamela? The, the, yes, teacher. This, this brand it have a lot of outlets. Okay. Nice. What else? Teacher. Yes. It, uh, I think. Uh, sorry. In Mother's Day or Father's Day, there are uh, a lot of promotion. That's true. They reduce the prices, right? Well, that's what they say, <laughs> and that's yes. what we can see, right? Okay. Do this company have sponsors? What do you think? Yes, no, we don't know. What do you think? Maybe in the stadium or... <laughs> uh, I don't remember exactly, but in the, the stadium or in the... They promotion their, their, their brand. Ah, but that is about advertising. Uh, Remember sponsor, that sponsor. Sorry, 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 sponsor. Mm -hmm. And the football <laughs> players, I don't know. I don't remember that, though, but maybe. Ah, they are sponsored they for, are, it's, from some soccer teams. Could be. Soccer team. Yeah, definitely, right? And maybe at the beginning when they started the business, maybe someone provided funds so they can start running the business, right? Now, public relations. Do they have public relations? What do you think? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I think uh, all business is necessary relations, public relations. Mm, very good. So definitely, right? I think that all of the business, if they want to be successful, they need it. So the idea, everyone, is to be clear with these concepts, okay? So most of the national brands and international brands too, they need to be related with this vocabulary. Is it clear? Do you understand these terms, everyone? Teacher, I don't clear uh, the, the, the word sponsor. Sponsor. Okay, I'm going to explain. Imagine, uh, think about Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? They right. have sponsors. They have companies that they give them money if they use their brand. For example, if Cristiano Ronaldo wears some specific shoes, this company gives him money. So the translation is like patrocinador, right? That is the meaning for sponsor. Another example, imagine that you want to, keep it simple, imagine that you want to study English but you don't have money. You need someone to pay your studies. So, for example, in this case, INSAFOR gives you the opportunity to study. So, INSAFOR is your sponsor. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember that the sponsor from ADOC is Magico Gonzalez. I remember now because I bought a, 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 a shoes for my, my little son that, that plays soccer. Uh -huh. And, and he is the, the, he's the brand, say Magic Gonzalez. The, That's the, true. The yeah. But, uh, teacher, how do you say tacos? And, and 
tacos de shoes, no yeah, tacos, tacos de tacos de fútbol. <laughs> <laughs> And the first thing that comes to my mind it was the ones to eat it. Um, you can say soccer shoes, maybe. I'm okay. not pretty soccer sure. Shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's okay. see. Teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, is the fabric a dog? Is the uh, is factory? What is the um various uh, brand? Um, a dog is a fabric. Is it's, the it's... is the pardos lichu um the hosh poppies and Different the different uh, branch. Different or... exactly. So basically, this is the same with some other brands. For example, yeah. we got Apple, right? That is the name of the big company, but they do have different products. So this is the same with this. This is a big brand, and there are different branches that comes always from the same company. That's a very good point. So is it clear now the meaning of sponsor? Yes? Yeah, yes, I got it. Excellent. Okay, Thank any you. you're welcome. Any question about these words or are they clear, everybody? All it's clear, clear, teacher. Great, excellent. So keep in mind the vocabulary, everyone. The idea is that you can try to apply them. Now um we are going to practice uh let's stop thinking about the products and this is a topic that i want you to practice i know that you practice during vacation so the quantifiers in the platform i could see some of you are making a lot of mistakes in this topic so it's important to review it. I know that we don't have a lot of time, but we are going to try to do it fast. Can you name some of the quantifiers that we studied, please? A lot of... Uh -huh. A few, much, many. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we are going to have a listening practice about this topic. Okay, and pay a lot of attention. This listening is about Paul and Sarah. They are having a conversation about shopping. Okay, so pay attention to the audio and I want you to answer these two questions. What the problem do Sarah and Paul have? And what are they going to do? So microphones off, everybody. Microphones off. Pay attention. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Let me play the audio. Hi, I'm back. Is anyone home? Yes, I'm in the kitchen. There you are, good news. I just bought groceries for the weekend. But I did the shopping for the weekend. I thought you said you were busy today. I found some time. You said you didn't have much time. Well, let's see what you bought. Do you have many bags? I have four. Did you get any chilies? I got some chilies and a pack of green beans. I also bought two red peppers and some onions. Okay, well, I got a few chilies too and two pounds of onions. I also got a bag of spinach. Did you get any chicken? I did. I got some chicken and coconut milk. Uh-oh, I got some chicken too and some yogurt. We already have a little yogurt in the fridge. So it looks like we have too much chicken. What are we going to do? Well, we could put some in the freezer or we could make a big curry and invite David and Victoria over for dinner tonight. That's a great idea. We have enough chicken for everyone and there's plenty of rice in the cupboard. I'm worried we don't have enough vegetables. There are three cans of tomatoes in the cupboard, and I think we'll be okay with the spinach and green beans. We have too many onions, though. Never mind. We can use them next week. They won't go bad. That's true. Do you get the answers, or do you need to listen to one more time? I got the general idea. Okay. And the rest of you, everyone? Did you get the ideas of these questions? I got it. 
All right. One more, one more try. One more try, please. Of course. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. So everybody, please pay attention. And then I want you to answer the questions. Go ahead. Hi, I'm back. Is anyone home? Yes, I'm in the kitchen. There you are. Good news. I just bought groceries for the weekend. But I did the shopping for the weekend. I thought you said you were busy today. I found some time. You said you didn't have much time. Well, let's see what you bought. Do you have many bags? I have four. Did you get any chilies? I got some chilies and a pack of green beans. I also bought two red peppers and some onions. Okay, well, I got a few chilies too and two pounds of onions. I also got a bag of spinach. Did you get any chicken? I did. I got some chicken and coconut milk. Uh-oh, I got some chicken too and some yogurt. We already have a little yogurt in the fridge. So, it looks like we have too much chicken. What are we going to do? Well, we could put some in the freezer. Or we could make a big curry and invite David and Victoria over for dinner tonight. That's a great idea. We have enough chicken for everyone, and there's plenty of rice in the cupboard. I'm worried we don't have enough vegetables. There are three cans of tomatoes in the cupboard, and I think we'll be okay with the spinach and green beans. We have too many onions, though. Never mind. We can use them next week. They won't go bad. That's true. All right. So... What problem do they have? What happened? Both. They both had a lot of They both bought a lot of food. Imagine. <laughs> have you ever had the same problem with your family or your husband or your wife? Yes, this last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh huh. So, what are they going to do? Yeah. Invited to I I forgot the name. Invited to one one girl. <laughs> Some friends, maybe. Some, Some friends. friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Putting in the freezer. So. All right. Yeah, the, the the chicken are, put in the freezer. The chicken. They are oh. going to cook a big curry with the chicken and uh -huh. invite some friends. Exactly. That is the one, exactly. Teacher. Yes. What is curry? What is the, what is the meaning? Okay, curry doesn't have a translation. Curry is basically a recipe. It's a way to prepare chicken. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, Thanks. they, they, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Men, say you. Uh, Magdalena, do you have a question? Y yes, teacher, I have a question with a, a phrase that they said. Uh -huh. They said, uh, never mind. Oh. What means that? Well, never mind. Be careful with this phrase. Is this, never mind. Depending on the tone of voice that you use, this phrase can sound pretty cool or sounds a little bit rude. So never mind is like, ah, don't worry, okay? Or you can say, um, forget it, okay? So for example, if you say, teacher, I have a question, but before I answer the question, somebody talks, and the other person answered the question that you had. So I say, okay, I'm sorry, Magdalena, what was your question? And you say, ah, teacher, never mind. Somebody else already answered the question. So you say, no, nah, no worries, teacher, forget it. I already know the answer. So that's the meaning. But if you are fighting, okay, if you are discussing with someone and the person says, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you say, ah, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, so that sounds a little bit rude. So never mind. It's like, ah, you know what? I don't care. So forget it. I don't want to talk about it. Is it clear? The yes. 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 When my wife said, never mind. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's right. 
So it's depending on the tone of voice that this phrase yes. can sound pretty cool or just a little bit rude. So be careful okay. with that. Okay, Thank very you. good. You're welcome. Now, continue with the exercise. Can you tell me or do you remember what product did Paul bought and what product did Sarah bought? Do you remember? They talk about yes. pounds of onions, carrots, and chicken. Okay, for example, I wanted to write a letter P next to the products that Paul bought. Chilies. Who bought the chilies, Paul or Sara? Paul, I think. Paul. Paul? Oh. Are you sure? Yes, I think chilies. Both. Both. How about or both? I remember both, but I'm not sure. Okay, how about green beans? Sara. Sara? How about red peppers? Paul. <laughs> Both? Paul? No. Oh, Paul. Paul. Okay. How about uh, onions? Both. 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 Okay. How about spinach? Both. Sarah. Only Sarah or both? Both, I think, because they have a lot of spinach, onions, and chicken, I think. Okay. How about chicken? Both. Both. Both of them. Both. How about coconut milk? Paul. Sorry, this. Paul. 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 Okay. How about yogurt? Sorry. 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 Okay. Are you sure of your answers? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? It's been nice. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and some of you are like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, green beans is not correct. Green beans huh. was Paul, not Sarah. Okay, Paul bought the beans. Uh, the red peppers. Actually, yes, is correct. The onions is correct. Spinach. Actually, it was only Sarah. Right, mm -hmm. Paul didn't buy it. The chicken, both, yes. Coconut meal is correct and yogurt is correct. So basically you had almost all the correct answers. Very good. Now, think about the countables and the uncountables. All right, think about that. I want you to tell me which of these words are countables and which of these words are uncountable. Chilies. Hmm, countable or uncountable? What do you think? Uncountable? Countable. Chilies. Okay, chilies, countables. Are you sure, everyone? Yes, I should. But chili, chilies, oh, sorry, miss, I am confused. Chilies is the, like a chili, <laughs> chili <laughs> with uh, a lot of beans with meat. Is this the chilies or not? That's the chili. Okay. Um, what is the meaning of chilies, everyone? Google Translate said chili. Chili. Ah, <laughs> when chili. it is very spicy. Oh, what is that? Pep, 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 pepper. But Hot you can. Pep you can say hot peppers hot pepper, or pepper. chilies, right? Mm -hmm. So this one is countable, okay? The ones that you eat with the beans, ground meat, that is chili, that is different. Remember, chilies is countable. It's the okay. vegetable that is very spicy. Chicken is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Are you sure? Countable. Everybody, what do you think? Countable. Countable. Okay. Right. Chicken with the yeah, it's countable. Now this is something that you have to keep in mind. When the chicken is alive, <laughs> so in that case, it's countable. Okay. 
But if the chicken is dead, I mean, if you are talking about the meat, in that case is uncountable. The ones that you bought in the supermarket is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. The ones that you see in some houses, that is? Countable. Countable. Okay. Countable. Very good. Coconut milk. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 Green beans. Comfortable. Yes. Un Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Can you count the beans? Mm, not really, right? <laughs> Red peppers. Comfortable. Comfortable. You can count it. Red pepper. Spinach. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yes. Yogurt. In this case, it's uncountable. Right? You can count the containers, but not the jogger. Okay? Very good. Very good. Now, I'm going to show you some sentences, and I want you to answer correctly. For example, look at this. In questions, what is the correct word? We use some or any with Plural countables and uncountable nouns. What is the correct one? For question any? is any. Any, are you sure? Yes, any. Everybody? I remember that. Yes, any, yes. that's correct. Remember, in this case, it's a question. Number two. We use some with plural, countables, and uncountable nouns. When? In positive sentences or negative sentences? Positive sentences. Are you sure? Po positive. Positive sentences. Positive. Yes. Positive. Don't hesitate, everyone. Very good. Next one. We use any with plural, countables, and uncountable, but in positive or negative? Negative. 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 I'm very negative. good. Excellent job. You are experts now. I love it. How about this one? When do we use a few? When we are using plural countables or plurals uncountables? A few. Plural countables, or is just for uncountable nouns? For both. For countables. Uncountable. Countable. No countables. For both, mm. teacher. For both? Ah. Yes. Can I say a few apples, a few rice? A few milk. Uncountable. Few Plural water. uncountable. Uh -huh. Plural uncountable. Plural yes. uncountable. Well, we're with that. Uncountable. So uncountable. Algunos están empezando a dudar. Okay. Actually, uncountable. everyone is for plural. Countables. A few is for countables. Okay, be careful. So we use a little with the plural countables or with the uncountables? Uncountable. 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 Ah, very good. So if I want to say, tengo poquita agua. So can I say a few water or a little water? A little, a little water. water. That's nice. Can I say I have a few friends or a little friends? A few friends. A few That's friends. Correct. Oh, very good. Be careful, everyone. Okay, the next one. Much and many. Hmm. If I'm talking about un countable nouns but in negative and questions what is the correct one much or many much much much, much. 
Yes, correct. Much. What about the opposite? If I have plural countables? Many. Many. That's Many. the correct one. So if you see everyone, pretty easy to identify the countable, but don't forget it, okay? Now, we are going to have a practice, and I want to every a practice, please. We don't have a lot of time. We only got 10 minutes. I wanted to choose a word, a countable noun, one of the quantifiers, and then I want you to pick one of these sentences and create a sentence. Okay, the sentence has to be correct. For example, if I say many, remember that many is for countables. Which word can I match with many? Can I say many traffic? No, no. 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 Can I say many, many pollution? No. No. So which word can no. I match with many? No. no. Many, many people. Dog, many people. Many, many cars. cars. Ah. Many so bike. Correct. That is what we are going to do. But first, uh, before starting that practice, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego. Carlos, Present. okay, Christian Alexander, Present teacher. very good, Erika Yasmin, present, very good, Fatima Denise, present teacher, very good, Gabriel Beltran, present teacher, very good, um, Hector Francisco, no, Isabel Hernandez, Present, Miss. Very good. Uh, Ivan Guzman. Present, teacher. Very good. Jamie Raquel. No? Okay. Uh, Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present, teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Excellent. Uh, Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's start. I need a volunteer. Who wants to try first? Only one, please. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, if I don't have volunteer, I'm going to pick someone. Let me start with Christian because Christian was sick last week, but now he's healthy. Yes. Christian, pick a quantifier. Which one? Many. Many, okay, give me a word. Car. Car, okay, give me a sentence. Using many and car. Uh, many cars are in the street. Many cars are in the street. Everybody, what do you think? Is that sentence correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, everybody? Yes. There are many cars on the street. There are many cars on the street. Okay. What do you think, everybody? Is that correct? Yes or no? In my opinion, there are many cars. Okay. Pay attention. Look, we use many with um, countables, but, oops, it's not this one. It's this one. We use many with the countables is correct, but look. In which type of sentences? In negative and questions. 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 In this case, the sentence that Christian provided is in affirmative. So we can say there aren't many cars 
in the street. In that case, is correct. Okay, be careful with that. Many and much is more for negative or questions. Okay, Christian, okay. pick one of your classmates, please. Mm -hmm. I choose Lucy. Thank you. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Okay, pick a quantifier, please. Quantifier. Um, I, I think one. Which one? The ones you? that are few okay pick one word phone phone yes okay give me a sentence please a few phones um function underwater ah all right is that sentence correct everybody what do you think? A few phones worked under the water or function under the water. What do you think? It's correct because it use the phones with S at the end is plural. Correct. And it's countable. Very good job. Lucy, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Erika. Thank you. Erika, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, pick one of the quantifiers, the ones that you prefer. A lot of. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pick one word. Um, crime. Crime. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I don't know, in Pakistan, they have a lot of crimes. Ah, very good. <laughs> so can I say a lot of crimes or a lot of crime? Crime. That's the one, excellent job. Pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, let me see. Ivan. Okay. Ivan Petrovich. <laughs> Thank you. So remember that here there are some quantifiers that we haven't studied. For example, fewer, less, well, you already know much, and we have seen enough, but there are not adjectives here. So let's avoid enough in this moment. So Ivan, pick one of these words. Um, words or, or quality? First, the quantifier. Which one? Quantifier is um, more. More. Now, pick one of these words. <laughs> more pollution. Okay, now give me a sentence. Wow. More, more, more. I don't remember the <laughs> Okay, pick one of your classmates. So, so you. sorry. No worries. Pick one of your classmates to help you. Okay, um, Fatima, help me, please. <laughs> okay, Fatima, can you give me a sentence using more and pollution? Uh, it was mean pollution. Pollution is like contamination. It's, it's an, a synonym. Pollution and contamination is the same. When, with many. More. Remember that more is a comparative, right? So what will be a sentence using more in pollution? 
What do you think? El Salvador are more pollution. Okay, so we can say El Salvador has more pollution than Canada, for example. That is a comparison. Very good. Okay, we have time for one more. Fatima, can you pick someone, please? Magdalene. Thank you, Magdaleno. Which quantifiers do you prefer? Okay. Um, uh, little. Little. Okay. Big one word. Noisy. Noise. Okay. And noise. Give me a sentence. Okay. My child is a little noise. <laughs> All right. So you can say that. Remember that in that case, noise is like ruido. Noisy is noisy. Mm -hmm. So my, you can <laughs> say my child is a little noisy. noisy. Very good. Okay, Thank you, everybody. Teacher. You're welcome. The idea is that, that we have to be able to use correctly all of the quantifiers. Well, we don't have more time. So before going to sleep, the winner to stay today is Magdaleno. So Magdaleno, you have to stay just a couple of minutes. The rest of you, everybody, you can go to sleep. Don't forget to work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, bye See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Teacher, just, just have a question about the, the midterm that in the platform have the is an exam that we have to do or 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 not yet? It's an exam. It's up to you. You can do it. Some of your classmates already did it, but the, remember that the midterm is when we finish the unit number two. So we are going um, to finish the unit number two on Wednesday. So you can wait or you can do it right now as you prefer. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Hello, Magdaleno. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was really... your vacation? Actually, very busy. Oh. <laughs> Did you work? Yes. No, Every okay. day. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you didn't <laughs> relax. Not even a day. When I will die. Okay, all right. So this uh, little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have about the class or about the platform or in general. So this is your moment. So do you have any questions about it? Yes, teacher. I have a lot of questions, but today I, I have my mind in, in a blank. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. If you if you have time, you you can help me with the platform. Of course. Because I, I have troubles with the part number four in the midterm, and with I am checking that, and okay. with the the exercise number number two point eleven, okay. and the the second part. Um, you said that is in the midterm. I have trouble in the midterm and in the homework number 2.11. Okay. It's the, same, it's the same exercise. Ah, okay. Let me open up and we are going to check it. I think I, I know what is the exercise, I think. <clears throat> Let me share the screen. Is this the exercise? Yes, the place strategy demand. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, and I was explaining this right at the beginning of the class with some of your classmates. And this is one Excuse of the exercises me, that is giving issues to most of your classmates. And I was telling and explaining them that the problem is not about you. I think the problem is with the platform. If you see in the first sentence says, 
the place strategy and then you just have to add the correct order in the next words that are, are in parentheses right yep. so the correct answer is the place strategy uh, demands enough can uh, channels of distribution perfect the problem with the number two if you see it's a start with our products but in the answer the platform, if you write, for example, our products, the answer will be as incorrect. So this is a mistake of the platform. So if you write our products, mm -mm, it's not correct. So the correct answer will be only the ones that are in parentheses. And it says offer great features and benefits, okay? So that is one of the mistakes of the platforms, unfortunately. So in the number two, it's not necessary to write the, uh, the words are products, all right? Now, I'm going to send the answers. Offer great. It's okay. offer great. Exactly. So if you see that word doesn't even appear in the answers, right? So- My platform is- <laughs> I know. Look at this. In, in some of the yes, I know, I know. So, um, let's see. I remember that. I don't, I'm not sure if I send the answers on. Yeah, I send the answers on WhatsApp's group. If you scroll up, yes, the answers okay, are there. Try. So you, you you can just copy and paste because, as I said, in that in that exercise is a mistake of the uh, platform so uh, today i sent the answers for that exercise so you can see the sentences there on whatsapp group i'm checking mm -hmm. and the number one the place i is here <laughs> so yeah okay, so thank you teacher You're okay uh, one uh, one question yours mm -hmm. and with enough with enough you have please clarify that mm -hmm. uh, if if enough is using with a noun is before is right if it is with an adjective so it, that is the topic that is missing but we are going to yes. check it during this week if it uh, is with an adjective enough goes after if you have a noun is basically the opposite so in few words let me share it here it's going to be like this if you have an adjective the adjective goes first and then the word enough but if you have a noun first is the noun uh, i'm sorry first is the word enough and then is the noun i'm going to give you an example you can say my car is fast, fast enough, enough. And with a noun, we are not using an adjective, we are using a noun. You can say, I have enough money to buy a car, for example. So the adjective, okay, it's clear. first is the adjective, and then it's enough. With a noun is basically the opposite. First is enough, and then is the noun, okay? But this is a topic that is, we are going to check it during this week no worries okay it's mm -hmm. clear actually it's clear thank you i i forgot that mm -hmm. and the other question the opposite. Uh -huh. okay when i when i want to say a possibility when i can use might and i when i can use may may and might okay. to say tal vez llueva mm -hmm. may raining May it is raining, or oh, how I can say? You know, for possibilities. Yeah, might and may they are like siblings. <laughs> they are very <laughs> similar, basically. Some okay. grammar books says that might is when you have like more possibilities that something happens. Okay, so like. Imagine in a percentage, for example, if you have like 
75% of possibilities that something happens. And May is with you when you have like less possibilities, but it's not so much the difference. We are talking about like 60% of possibilities. So if you see, it's not like so much different. So if you say it might rain, that means that you have like 75% of possibility that really happens. But if you say it may rain, that means that you have like 60% of possibilities that it happened. So if you see, it's, it's not so much the difference. It's just talking about the percentage of possibility that that's truly happened. So they are very okay. similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's clear. It's not saying that could and and can is right because could is for um, for a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Can is a um, ability, right? Yeah, I can. I can. You. Oh, sorry. Tell me. Well, actually, with could and can, they are kind of similar too. And basically they are like, um, just for more possibilities, basically. And could is more for possibilities and can is more for when you are talking about abilities or skills. That's the okay. Mm -hmm. I, sh uh, I watched a video on on Facebook, on, on YouTube, when uh, when they explain about could as the past tense for king, mm -hmm. it is correct. Totally, exactly. Can is for present, and could okay. is for simple past. But that is depends on the meanings that you are applying. For example, if we are using can to talk about abilities or skills. So can is in simple present. Mm -hmm. Could, if we are talking about skills too, right? That is for past. past. Mm -hmm. But also you can use could when you are talking about possibilities. It's not necessary to talk in past. We can use, for example, we can say, it could rain tomorrow. And Podría when, llover. Uh -huh, when we are using could for possibilities, we have strongest possibilities that that really happens. So we are talking about, for example, that- When we like, have la flat lightnings. Uh -huh, yeah. maybe, maybe we are talking about a 90% of possibilities. So the possibilities is higher. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then for the future? Also, you can use could for future. You can say, you know what, next weekend, mm, I could go to the beach. So basically, that is a possibility. I could go, possibly. Podría ir. Exactly. So something that you have to keep in mind, if you are talking about the future, you cannot say, I will can. This is totally incorrect, okay? So you cannot say that. For future, okay. the words that we can use is be able to. Be able to is exactly this, the same meaning as can. But if you want to talk in future, you can say, for example, eh, yo podré manejar. So you can say, I will, be. Uh -huh, I will be able to drive. But you cannot say, ah, I will can drive. No, that is a mistake. I will be able. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So if you want to review this topic, you can go on YouTube and try to search modal verbs. That is the topic, modal verbs, if you want to practice. It's a nice topic and modal verbs are very useful. So I highly recommend you to continue practicing that. Yes, I listened to Alicia and uh, other teachers in English mm -hmm. and, and ah, other English good. teachers. Excellent, excellent. Do it because that is going to help you to improve. Okay. Yes, we so have, thank you, teacher. We have one more minute, so I don't know if you have any other question. 
I don't remember any any <laughs> question. I don't remember you are taking to me in the fire. <laughs> I don't have any question at the moment. Okay, well, um, but if during the days or during the class you have any other questions, you know that you can also ask me anytime and I will try to help you, okay? Yes, Very for real, good. I will, I will sell to you. Thank you. It's okay. correct. <laughs> yes. So, Magdalena, just a feedback. You are doing a great job. I like that you always participate and you are well. Uh, when you are in the breaking rooms, you are very talkative, and that is something that I like. You are working on the platform. Actually, I can see that. So, very good job, too. You have a very good attendance. So, nice job. Keep going. Keep going because you are doing great. Okay. Thank you, teacher. It's my pleasure to stay here with you. Thank you. Thank you You're for your help. Welcome. And it's my pleasure too. Well, we are going to stop right here. You can go to sleep. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.